is AI going to replace the performance testers? Let's find out in this video. And before we move on to this video, uh, this is me, Vasan Shanmugam. I welcome you all to our Little Slaw YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to watch more content like this and to help you to help yourself with the uh, performance testing related tools and technologies. And with no further ado, let's go to the video. So the question here is again, is AI going to replace the performance testers? AI is advancing at an incredible pace. No matter, it can be writing writing the test scripts for you, analyzing the performance data, and even predicting the bottlenecks before a test runs. Some say this means the end for performance testers. But is that really true? Will AI take over completely or is there something the human testers bring to the table that AI never will? Stick around because what I'm about to show for the next few minutes might completely change your perspective. Yes, it's going to completely change your perspective. So now move, we move on to the next slide. So now we'll talk about what AI is doing to performance testing. So have you got a thought what it is doing to us or what it what the AI has brought to performance testing or how it is going to completely kill our job or completely going to kill our work? So AI is already automating the script generation. Yes, you hear me right. AI has already started to automate the script generation and you can describe a test scenario in plain English and AI tools like ChatGPT, Copilot, DeepSeek, or any, any tools, whatever you call it, will generate a full test script for you in seconds. So no manual scripting, no correlation struggles. Does it start, sounds amazing, right? I don't think so. AI is handling dynamic correlation. Yes, AI has started to handle dynamic correlation. One of the toughest parts of scripting in JMeter is handling dynamic values like session IDs or tokens. AI is slowly learning to detect these patterns and automatically apply correlation rules. Something that used to take us a number of hours. Even this will even solve the complex problem of how will you handle dynamic left boundary and right boundary. Yes, AI is handling even that. AI has slowly adapting. AI is slowly learning towards it. So AI has started to handle dynamic correlations as well. And then the next thing, yes, if you give the code to JMeter to uh, your load runner code to Copilot or any tool, it automatically gets the correlation values. Yes. And now the next part is the most interesting one. AI has started to analyze the performance test results faster than ever, faster than you, faster than me, faster than everyone. Yes. AI powered tools can now scan thousands of performance log in just seconds. For us, just going through the eyes will take a lot of time. No matter what tool you use, you use Excel or whatever you tools you use, Dana Trace, APM tools, but these AI tools completes all this scanning in just seconds, identifying the anomalies, suggesting the optimizations. That's the critical point here. We actually struggle in suggesting optimizations, but AI understands the architecture and suggests the optimizations. And it even predicts the system failures before they happen. So with AI doing all this, do we need performance testers anymore? Do we really need it? Are we really required in the market? Let's see. Let's do a quick reality check. Let's now get to the real deal. Can AI truly replace performance testers? It's not so fast because AI follows patterns but real world applications that we use are unpredictable. Imagine a complex e-commerce application 
where dynamic user flows change frequently. AI can write scripts, but it cannot understand the business logic like a human does, like we does. A performance tester knows why a test should be designed a certain way and not just how to automate it. So this is the this is the first point where the humans are better than the AI at this point of time. The second point, where does AI lags behind the human beings? The second thing is AI struggles with the test strategy. Yes. AI can generate scripts. Yes, it can write any, any any number of scripts, any amount of scripts, but it doesn't decide what to test, right? It doesn't decide what to test. Should we run a stress test or a soak test? Or should we simulate 10,000 users or 50,000 users? AI does not understand the business priorities. Only we, the performance testers, or only human does it. The third one, which is AI does not replace your experience. Think about debugging a failing test. AI might flag an issue, yes, but can it tell whether the root cause is bad scripting or network latency or database bottleneck? No, only an experienced tester can make those connections. So what I'm trying to say is, increase your experience because ai cannot replace the experience ai cannot replace your experience in deciding what to do right the test strategy only we can decide it AI can generate scripts as i told you yes but whether to do a stress test or a soak test or whether to simulate 10,000 users or 50,000 users that is decided by an experienced performance tester. Now, the opportunity. So instead of fearing AI, smart testers like us should learn how to use it to our advantage. Just imagine when computer had came into the picture Everyone said there is going to be there is going to be no work for for the human beings. Everything is going to be replaced by humans. But did that happen? No. There were more and more jobs that has got created because of computers. People started to move around the world because of computers. Now AI is going to do the same thing for us. So how are we going to make it for our advantage? The first thing is AI assisted scripting. Imagine using AI to generate your base JMeter script, then tweaking them for accuracy. So instead of spending hours writing test scripts, you can focus on testing, uh, you can focus on writing test strategy and analysis, right? So you can use AI as your servant. You can use AI as your assistance, assistant. The next thing is AI-driven test analysis. Instead of manually digging through logs, you can use AI tools like Dynatrace. Yes, Dynatrace has AI inbuilt with it. New Relic or Splunk to analyze the trends and predict the failures before they impact the users. So AI driven test analysis is the best way to effectively use the AI. So instead of we manually digging through the logs. We can use these AI tools to do these things in no matter of time. And again, that's followed by the next point, which is faster troubleshooting with AI. AI powered observability tools can pinpoint performance issues faster than ever, but they still need a tester to interpret the findings and decide the best course of action. So by combining AI with human expertise, we can work smarter. We don't need to work harder, but we can work smarter. 
which makes the performance testing more efficient and impactful than ever. So just imagine you have an assistant, you have an assistant with you who helps you in scripting, who helps you in test analysis, and who can also help you in faster troubleshooting. And if you have an assistant like that, you're going to deliver your deliverables very quickly, right? Without any issues or without any errors. So the conclusion here is, you have come to the conclusion part. So what are we going to do? So what do you think? Will AI replace performance testers or will it empower us? So are you excited about AI or do you think it's a threat to our field? Drop a comment below and let's discuss. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I've got more AI and performance testing insights coming your way. And see you in the next one. Until then, it's bye bye from Vasan Shanmugam and your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. Take care and bye bye.